What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna continue to work on the GoPad. Last night I was actually tossing and turning and thinking to myself, what could I do to make this thing turn on? And uh, around 10 o'clock I came out here to just kind of mess with it off camera. And uh, I think I found the issue. The carb, although it does run, it doesn't run that well. Um, and I actually did try this. I pressed on the uh, priming bulb while it was on and it actually had a better fuel air mixture and it actually sounded like it had a lot more power than when I'm not doing it. So that's telling me that the carburetor isn't getting uh, as much fuel as it needs. Either that or like I said there's a leak on the spark plug which is causing it to uh, mess with the air fuel uh, ratio. It can be that but also the carb is old so I don't doubt that there's debris inside the jets or something along the lines of that. I have carb cleaner, I have everything here to clean it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The only thing I don't have here is a air compressor. Luckily I have one on my truck so I'm gonna use that one and see what I can do. First thing I gotta do is take off the carb. So uh, everything's semi-clean, as clean as I could get it. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the last bolt being put on the carb. I'm going to press the priming bulb. Let's see if anything leaks. The priming bulb isn't being filled with gas. All right. So I think it's leaking, but it's leaking from like that little, little bulb right there. It's leaking from there when I press the priming bulb. I don't know why it's doing that. But there is fuel in here now, so ah, time to see if I just made this thing better or worse. Yeah, definitely made it worse. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes. Uh, yeah, I definitely messed it up. I made it worse than it was before. I don't know if you guys have ever heard the quote that goes, uh, you can't really break something that's already broken. Well, I've done it. I've, I've broken the cliche that's been said for years and years. <laughs> doesn't even want to sputter anymore. Doesn't even want to turn on. So yeah, something major is messed up. But if I'm quite honest, it doesn't surprise me. Because one, this carb is uh, pretty thrashed as it is. Uh, the, the inlet for the gas is already kind of uh, leaking, and that's not my fault. It's um, it's really just it's the carb. Also, every project that I've ever had that involves a two-stroke, I've always had issues with the carb. Every single one of them. Inevitably, what I always do is just buy a new carb. I mean, these things are like 10, 15 bucks a pop, so it's not really expensive. And it's, it's a peace of mind because if I do take this out to a park or kind of stray away from home with this thing, it's, uh, it's nice to know that I have a brand new carb on it that's not going to fail me, uh, which is quite honestly what always fails on these two-stroke engines is the carb. Uh, air leak, uh, fuel leak in my case. Yeah, just a whole plethora of uh, options that could go wrong. So. Damn it, I really, really wanted to get this thing going for this video. <sighs> Just goes to show why I don't like two strokes that much. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I guess this video is going to be cut short today. Can't get it running. Um, it's just that I'm limited here. I really I cannot do anything uh, more here. So, yeah. Sorry for the bummer video. 
Uh, if you guys stayed here to the end, thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.